10 at 10 continues with no wait weather. Well, heading into the night, it's very quiet. It's been a beautiful yeah, close to quiet. work week. Warm it up. And you can sure feel, feel that outside. It's so nice. Outdoors tonight, it's very mild for this time. And it's still in the 70s, almost 80 degrees in Fargo, 79 degrees. Wind from the southeast at 11 miles per hour. More hit at 75. And here's a look in Grand Forks. Right now, your temperature 75 degrees. Wind from the southeast also under 10 miles per hour. A lot of 70s across the eastern third of North Dakota, including Grand Forks, Devil's Lake, Jamestown, Valley City also in that club. It's a cool 68 in Roseau and 73 at Detroit Lakes. Now, if you're heading out to the lakes this weekend, we have some warm weather to talk about, a chance of some storms, and the radar tonight showing a couple of thunder showers developing in northeastern South Dakota for our southern counties there. This is really not uh, taking hold out there. I don't anticipate much from that. And hey, by the way, all that smoke and haze we've been dealing with, haze is going to be a part of our forecast. But this morning, Quite an image captured by the visible satellite. These swirls are the smoke being pushed back northward as we headed through the day thanks to those south winds that made their way to the surface here. So haze is going to be a part of our forecast, but the good news is as we take a look at the storm track right now, we're out of it. We'll have a chance for some storms as we head through the weekend. Speaking of that smoke, most of those fires up here in Saskatchewan, the winds at the upper levels of the atmosphere taking most of that smoke off to the east and not into the valley. So I don't think we'll have to deal with any of that heavy-duty smoke for some time. But next week, that'll change. All right, your overnight forecast, isolated thunder showers mainly south, temperatures dipping into the 60s. As we start out our Saturday, it looks pretty good. But by the late afternoon, a chance for some storms to develop in the Devil's Lake Basin. Some of those storms could be on the strong side with temperatures such as these. We're talking 90s out there. That's sizzling. Some are like temperatures. And in Lakes Country, a lot of mid-80s to near 90 in the Red River Valley of western Minnesota. Heading into the evening, these storms will blow along the international border. This is where the best chance of storms will be for our Saturday night into Sunday morning. And again, a few of these could be on the strong to severe side. It looks like the main threat is going to be the gusty straight line winds heading into your Sunday, Saturday night, rather. Look at this. More storms blowing through. Again, some could be on the strong side. We start out Sunday, south wind again. Temperatures near 80 pretty quickly in the morning. And we'll be pushing 95, 96 degrees in the FM area on a sizzling Sunday afternoon. And in the heat of the day, there'll be a chance for redeveloping storms, some of which could be strong to severe. The best chance will be from the Red River Valley east into Minnesota for Sunday, Sunday night forecast. 70 to start your Saturday morning off in Fargo-Moorhead. That's on the warm side for this area. 82 degrees by midday already feeling a little sultry. Topping out in the low 90s for your Saturday afternoon. Planning forecast at 5 in the afternoon. A lot of near 90 degree readings in southeast North Dakota. It does look like we'll have a chance for some mid 80s with south winds around 15 miles per hour. A few white caps on the waters of the lakes country. 83 for Bedet, Bemidji and Babe the Blue Ox at 81. Crookston at 87 and we'll see a lot of mid to upper 80s in northeast North Dakota. Remember a good chance of a late night thunder Saturday and into Sunday. Sunday sizzling hot in Fargo. A chance for a few of those storms that do form to be severe. Next week, I think the smoke returns with the upper level winds shifting, dragging the Saskatchewan smell our way. And it looks like temperatures will be a little more seasonable in the mid 80s to upper 80s as we go into next week. It's going to be warm. Yes. I should say hot. Yeah. Sunscreen. Don't forget your yeah. pets in the car. Yeah, and water. Well, it's still ahead for us tonight. Good news for Pepsi fans who aren't a fan of the current artificial sweetener that's in diet sodas. Up next, afraid to bear your feet this summer? We're going to tell you about a product that could help you this sandal season.